White House Press Secretary James Haggerty is the storm center in the most anxious 72 hours the Capitol has known since President Eisenhower's heart attack last year. Around the clock, Mr. Haggerty is besieged by the Washington Press Corps, frantically seeking news of the President, who was taken by ambulance from the White House, suffering with an acute intestinal disorder. Stricken during the night, the President is rushed the same day to Walter Reed Hospital, where, after consultation by 13 doctors, surgery is decided upon. He is quickly followed by Mrs. Eisenhower and her son, Major John Eisenhower, to take up their vigil in a suite adjoining the President's. The nation waits with bated breath as the two-hour operation progresses during the early morning hours. An avid press convenes to hear the glad news of a successful operation in which a portion of inflamed small intestine is bypassed. Dr. Leonard Heaton, commandant of the hospital who performed the surgery, indicates on the diagram the portion of intestine which was eliminated. Frequent bulletins are issued on the president's progress, which is rapid. Indicating the chief executive's high spirits, Mr. Haggerty relates this story. This morning, the president's spirits were fine and his morale was good. Uh, when uh, General Heaton, the commanding officer of the hospital, uh, returned to the hospital this morning, uh, Major Arthur Cohen, the general surgeon that had been in charge uh, of the floor uh, during the early hour, morning hours, uh, told uh, uh, the general a story that he thought, and as did the general, was indicative of the president's high spirits and high morale. Uh, he said the president had been awake several times, and once when he went into his room, the president smiled at him and merely shook his head and said, what a bellyache. 